loved that. Cassie. Leave me alone, Lizzie. I don't have anything to say to you. I know. I have something I need to say to you. I'm not interested. Okay, just wait. Could you listen? I need to apologize to you. For Tammy's death. That sweater would have totally been her style. Excuse me? The sweater. You were thinking how good it would have looked on her. Well, it doesn't matter. I walked by the baby store yesterday, and I saw the cutest pink and yellow onesie. And I thought, I'll, I'll get it for Sarah. And then I remembered. You remembered? It was like, how did I forget? How could I ever forget? I don't know. Did you ever notice how many babies there are in this part of town? I'd never paid attention before, but it is like a stroller parade every day. Every time I see a happy couple with a baby. I'm sorry. No, um, I am the one that's supposed to be apologizing. Not that I could ever expect you to forgive me. I just wanted you to know that I miss Tammy, too. I feel like she had one like that. Am I wrong? I don't remember. It's totally her, though, isn't it? Yeah. It sure is. You know, the first time we ever went shopping together, it was my freshman year, and we needed to get dresses for the fall fever dance. I always got my dresses at boutiques, but Tammy convinced me to go with her to Egan's. Wow. A department. <laughs> we went to this one department, and it had the worst clothes. We had this contest to see who could come up with the ugliest dress, and she came out in this hideous, covered in pink bows and, and purple flowers. I offered her $1,000 to wear it to the dance, and she started laughing, and she split it right up the back. I had to pay for it. It was totally worth it. I am so sorry. I like to talk about Sarah to anybody that'll listen to me because it it keeps her alive for me, but that was probably totally inappropriate. I should go. No, Lizzie. Stay. You're right. I want to hear it. I want to hear all of it. Tell me everything you remember about her. It's all in the house. Thanks. I was really jealous of Tammy when she got that lead in the play. I wanted to be Juliet. She was really good. Way better than I would have ever been. <laughs> she was really good. We gave her that standing ovation. and She just beamed. That was the happiest I had ever seen her. Until she married Jonathan. Hmm. We used to play cards. When I was pregnant and Roxy and I were living with them. Really? What kind of cards? Poker. Tammy was really good. Kind of ruthless, actually. Tammy? She was so good at keeping her feelings to herself. I am not so good at that. When I'm happy, I'm happy. Uh, no kidding. <laughs> she said that whenever I had a good hand, my eyes would get really wide. She always won. Wow, I didn't even know she knew how to play. <laughs> she liked to watch those poker shows on TV. Wow. Thank you for not walking away earlier. You have every right to hate me. And I do know that I am at least partly to blame for Tammy's death. And Sarah's. And Jonathan's. And now my granddad could die. And I know that he is not the greatest person in the world, but he's still my grandfather. And I just never.
ever meant for any of this to happen. I believe you, Lizzie. You do? Yeah, I do. It's like ever since my dad died, everyone just keeps disappearing from my life. And maybe that's my punishment to end up alone, but how do you do it? How do you get out of bed every day? How do you get over losing someone that you loved so much? You don't get over it, Lizzie. You just hope it gets easier. And I'm just trying to let go of my guilt and my regrets. How? I go over all the things I did do and didn't do and decisions I made and I know I will always miss her. I just have to.